All right, so this is not a plan. This is a vent. I wanted to burst some bubbles real quick. I want to let people know that every day is not supposed to be amazing in adulting. Anybody in their fucking teens right now that's like, oh my God, I can't wait to live on my own. I can't wait to be a, an adult and not live here with my parents. Nah, nah. The real scam is living out here trying to adult Why rich, greedy people act like they're not being greedy. Stack your money and work like you're an adult living with your parents. Ask them, you know, how do you pay all these utilities in the same month and still pay for the mortgage on time? Ask them, how did you get your credit to where your credit is? How much does this refrigerator cost? Ask them that shit. How much does your two couch sets cost? And when you got this house, did you buy all your furniture one time or did you buy it over time? How long did it take? How much money uh, should be in my savings? You buying Uggs when your paycheck is only $300 is not smart, okay? You wanting to go out all the time and buy Drinks that are too high when you can just buy a bottle and go home and be around real friends, real people that like you is better. Okay? You using your whole 20s to be selfish and just figure out what you like and what you don't like and where you want to be and what country you want to visit and how people act in relationships. If you want to know what the hell is going on in relationships right now, I swear to God, just look at people. Look how people talk to each other. Look how people treat each other. Look how people post about other people on their social media. Look at all these posts about people in marriages. Not boyfriend, girlfriend, not my person. A marriage from years ago, confessing about how they got married to someone they did not like. How they got married to someone they're not in love with. Watch how couples who are quote-unquote celebrities, a.k.a. regular-ass people that just get paid for doing something that the public gets to view. Stupid ass. They're regular. They're regular. Their days are fucked up. But what's worst is they feel like a camera is always on them, so they have to act like they not in the mood that they in. Which, if you had a camera on you all the fucking time, and you were in a bad mood, or you were sad, or you didn't want to be bothered, you would keep some shit bottled up inside that would probably piss somebody off and close doors. The reality is, people feel like the internet is their diary. When the internet is a fucking loudspeaker and that big screen to the fact that people are really lying to each other and manipulating each other out here. And it's safer to be single. Until you meet somebody that's ready to be honest about their cons more than their pros, stay by yourself. Invest in yourself. Whenever you think about buying that boyfriend or that girlfriend a $500 bag or or a thousands of dollars on a watch invest in yourself what business do you want to do do you want to start a amazon online store are you making money while you're on the internet all goddamn day like i'm sick of it and then you can just watch these companies. These companies know that y'all are sucked in. You're sucked into these TikToks. You're sucked into um, Netflix. And Netflix is going up in price. Netflix is like, oh, so you thought you about to share your password with six of your friends? <clears throat> You're not because we want to get paid. We in debt. 
We giving you these movies. Y'all don't even go to the fucking movies no more. We giving you these movies. We giving you these shows. We making you comfy in your house. You, We want to get paid. So be raising this price. Ask anybody that has their own business. Ask anybody that's an entrepreneur. When you make moves to save more of your money per year with your bills and shit and you put shit in your business name, they start taking away um, discounts. Oh, no, this discount doesn't come with this business package. Oh, no, yeah, you're going to lose this discount. Oh, no, the HBO doesn't come with the package no longer. You have to be on this plan. And these people on the phone... These phone companies be fucking lying. They be lying. When they had switched my um when they had switched my phone over to my business, right? My business um plan. They were like, "Okay, this is the most basic plan there is. It's going to cost you um 95 per month for this plan." When I logged into fucking AT&T, that was the highest motherfucking business plan that they gave me that they said it was the lowest. Check your shit. Start going over your statements and do three highlights. Go over your statements, do a highlight for a need, maybe in green. A highlight for a want, maybe in yellow. And a highlight for a unnecessary purchase. Meaning... You had some, you didn't necessarily have to get it and go through your bank statements, go through your credit card statements and then count up how much for each highlight on each month. That's going to tell you what you're consciously doing with your fucking money. Are you wasting your money? Are you spending your money on what you need? And are you planning out your budget per month? Because let me tell you, adulting is all about a motherfucking budget. Even before you have kids, it's about a budget. I spent money like I was a trust fund baby before I had kids. I was spending hundreds of dollars on bape hats just because I wanted a bape hat. And I didn't even go out anywhere. I had shoes upon shoes, hats upon hats, real leather jackets, not faux leather jackets, just because I was comfortable, okay? But when you start acting like you're more adult than you're prepared for, some shit is going to come your way. And stop, stop praying without doing the work. You don't have to go to church to have a relationship with your creator. Whatever you, whoever you uh, believe in, whoever, whatever. You don't have to go to church to have a connection with your creator. But it's like the most honest, vivid relationship that there is. Don't you pray for nothing you ain't working for. Don't you pray for nothing you're not setting aside time for. Don't you pray and ask for something that you know you don't deserve. When you're not taking care of what you got now, that's not so great. If you are renting someone's apartment or a home, treat that shit like it's not yours. Clean it. Take care of it. Don't damage their shit. Clean it. Paint over the holes in the walls, the scrapes in the walls. Fix the blinds. Replace them. Don't watch the damn house have fucking termites and you you in it. And you don't say nothing. Don't watch a leak happen in the house. But, and you know, this is not my house. And don't say nothing. Fix it. Take your ass to Home Depot and browse through the aisles on a sink on a washing machine, on a refrigerator, and check yourself. Nobody owes you that shit. That shit costs money. People are out here trying to figure out, okay, additional to my nine to five, what's going to be my side hustle? Some people do real estate. Some people do hair. Some people cut lawns. Some people um, work on cars. Some people have an online store. Some people 
go thrifting and then clean whatever it is, flip it, sell it online. If you go through your closet and there's shit you haven't worn in three years, sell that shit on Poshmark. Make your price and sell that shit on Poshmark. Put it in a box and ship it and get paid directly in your bank account. If you have um, graphics that you do, let the fucking internet know you do graphics. If you proofread resumes, let the fucking internet know that you do resumes. You're not going to bank on your talents if you don't let anybody know that you're talented. You're not going to make profit on the work and the time that you're putting in if you're not going to say, hmm, what are my needs? Am I meeting my needs or or am I coming below my needs? Because some of y'all doing volunteer work on y'all side hustle. Why I say that? Because that shit is not adding up. If you're giving X amount of time when you could be doing nothing and resting and it's not paying you back double of what it should at the end of the result from who you're doing it for, you're wasting time. You might as well sit on your couch and watch TV. Like, understand your worth. Be able to say no to people. You don't have to keep going out with people you don't like. You don't have to buy what other people are buying. Right now, (laughs) people are buying the same fucking shoes you go on um you go on New Balance website, no shade to New Balance, but I don't see no shoe on there that I would ever spend that much money on. You go on Nike's website, I don't see no Nike on there right now that I'm just like, oh my god, I need these. You go on Adidas website, I don't see no Adidas on that website right now, but I'm like, oh my god, I need this. Like, there is no shirt I need right now. There's no jacket I need right now. There's no shoes I need right now. I just bought four new tires. That's a, adulting, buying four new fucking tires to prevent a blowout, to prevent you not being able to stop your car when you need to. That's adulting prep, having life insurance just in case some shit go left. Every time you get in a car, what do you think about? When I get in a car as a mom, as a woman, I try to do all my errands and get my ass back in the house with my kids. Because the later I'm out living in Atlanta, the probability of somebody going out for drinks and being drunk and hitting me despite me being a good driver is higher. Take your ass in the house. If you don't want to be outside and when your gut is telling you, nah, stay home, stay your ass home. There's a lot of people locked up right now doing 75 years to life because their gut was telling them to stay home. Don't go with this person. Don't go up the street. Nah, turn around and go back. And they still went. A lot of people right now are six feet under in the dirt facing the east. Or facing whatever based upon them not going with their gut. If you with somebody and their actions is continuously saying, I don't like you, I don't respect you, move the fuck from around them. You don't have to continuously keep asking somebody to respect you for them to respect you. Them disrespecting you every time and saying, I don't give a fuck. You're not worth respecting. Nobody should have to ask for respect from people that they respect. Stop giving time to your friends that sit on the phone and talk shit about people. Because when they get off the phone with you, they call somebody else to add you to the talk shit about. If you hear less and less from a person, that's a good thing. Because it's either they're busy on top of their shit. Or it's either it's something negative that they want to do or talk about that you're not feeding into so they don't call you because you're boring. Either way, it's a good play. 
Okay, either way, it's a good play. Get comfortable with yourself. Get comfortable with the fact that your hair is like this. Get comfortable with the fact that you ain't got no ass and it's cool. Somebody gonna love you anyway. Be comfortable with the fact that your titties ain't a double D. Because she, you know how many women I know that really want a breast reduction because their back hurts? Their bras cost 70 fucking dollars or more. They feel uncomfortable in their skin. Okay? You know how many women walking around here looking like clowns where their ass and their thighs don't match? You know how many people knowingly buying cars they can't afford and they six months behind on their insurance? And they hide in their cars at their friend's house in the garage. And they scared to park their car in the parking lot. But they dress nice. But they got a nice bag. Their hair is always done. Their priorities is fucked up. And the more you stay around people and hang around people whose priorities is fucked up, they gonna get you fucked up. got new merch on she gets it shop go get some you know it's so funny um as a creator as someone that drops shit shit like everybody else right i understand that things cost money but at the same time i also understand that that hoodie is no different from this hoodie that sweatshirt is no different from this sweatshirt The reality is prices are going up, yes. But at the same time, the reality of someone going out their way to support the next creator and buy something that you know and I know is probably $10 per item. And then to add on to being able to sell it as merch you probably add um, $20 on top of that. The reality is people are paying $10 or more for shipping for shit. So really ask yourself, is the price point of what I'm selling making sense? And maybe your shit would sell more. Just saying. But you can find the things on Who Is She In Shop. If you're looking for merch for The Real Relationship Rapport and other things and to support she gets it podcast she gets it shop with teespring is on there all right the books you already know it's on lulu.com i tell you all the time find me at shambi podden on tiktok ig twitter and youtube okay don't forget to check out the youtube channel shannon pods I appreciate anybody that watches a clip, shares a clip. Um, I appreciate you trying to move things on that with Stream Studios. Again, if you're a creator and you're looking to stream your videos somewhere, they are going to add on TikTok to be able to stream live to TikTok. So just keep that in mind. I think as a creator, you have to make sure that you're participating in more than one platform not just ig not just lives on ig not just tiktok not just lives on tiktok not just twitter but people have to know you in different spaces and you have to be able to show up and engage with different people in order to meet different people and if you are a new podcaster and you want more engagement and more people to check out your show Get your ass on Good Pods um, platform and talk to people and share your show and share those clips to your IG, share those clips to your Twitter, share those clips to your friends. And maybe it's not going to be your regular, regular friends that don't listen to podcasts that check your shit out. Maybe you're going to have to find you some podcast friends, okay? Shout outs to my pod fam, the inspiration for uh, two of the sweatshirts, the one with the gummies, Baylor, (laughs) and the uh, be mindful of what you share hoodie, 
Thank you, Drake from Everything Culture. Y'all check out Everything Culture podcast and BTG for President. Also, um, just a conversation with Gigi, Greg, and the boys, you know what I'm saying? And check out Young Black and Bothered with Greg from Loud Mouth Stereo. That's my rib for Loud Mouth Stereo, okay? We do that together. Either way, I support y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for listening. This was definitely, you know, something that had to be done. And uh, let's get back into it. Life is not hard, but it does take some organization and some common sense and some preparation. But when you don't prepare and you just slide in through this hole, you just slithering through this hole, you on some, I'm going to get by shit on somebody else's back. You deserve what you get. You deserve what you get. Life is fucking easier when you prepare for the shit. Not when you dodge in the shit. If you got siblings, you should be able to help them or either at least check on them. If you know black men in your family and they work hard and they have their own business, mentally check on them. If you know a woman with multiple kids, And you call her your friend, your cousin, or your sister. Offer to take them kids for her, from her for like four hours or a day or two. If you can, when you can. If you know someone with a sick parent that they take care of, offer to give them a day off or two. Or a night off. Okay? There's several ways for you to come through for your people. If you work with somebody and y'all cool and you know they retired, call them randomly and check on them. Text them randomly and check on them. If you have nephews or nieces right now and y'all in two different generations, check on them. Ask them if they need anything. Check on their mental health. It's kids dying by the dozens touching fentanyl, popping pills, depressed full of anxiety like it's, it's it's a different it's a different mental hustle out here for this new generation because they got too much shit that's not real they got social media they got uh phony ass friends on the level where they either going to get you killed locked up or abused There's people out here scared to show their real emotions. The food ain't real. Okay? The schooling is fucked up where they're trying to hide true history because they don't want white people to be in their feelings. And my thing is that there's nothing wrong with white people, right? There's nothing wrong with white people. I'm one of those people where I don't feel like white people one white person dictates a whole ethnicity of people i don't feel that way because there's some cool ass white folks right but at the same time we all have to be educated about the pros and cons of our people okay so taking history that's real might be brutal might be fucked up out of our children's books is not going to help them And I need people to stop sending their fucking kids to school expecting that teacher in those seven hours to give them 110% of their efforts. They're not. So if you're a parent, you got to be your kid's first teacher. If you're a grandmother or a grandfather and you're around your grandkids, learn from them. Teach them some things. Okay? Okay? There's too many fucking lazy-minded people out here. This shit is annoying. Every day I get on the internet, I'm like, damn. 
You can tell, like, these people don't like each other. And they fretting for these cameras. And then you listen to people, how they describe their relationship. And it's like, this person don't like you. They just don't want to do life alone. They want someone not... They want somebody around to put the blame on. They want somebody around to say, no, you cook it. They want somebody around to be like, did you pay that bill? Because I don't want to pay 100% of it. It's vivid. And I'm at the point where I don't want to celebrate something that I know you're not 110% into. Because I feel phony. I feel phony when I know you really don't fuck with this person. I feel phony when I know you one way here and one way somewhere else. I feel phony when a person wants me to respect a person that they continuously disrespect. So I'd rather not deal with you on that level. And I'm not killing nobody that don't fucking deserve it with kindness. Fuck you. And why are we in 2022 still trying to explain to people, do not touch my hair. Do not kiss babies that you don't know in the face. Why are we still in 2022 telling grown ass adults, stop leaving your kids in the car? This shit is annoying. Why we got to tell grown adults to brush their teeth and floss? Why we got to tell y'all to wash y'all hands with soap? Why? Why? Why you not wearing deodorant? Why y'all still drinking soda? Why you giving your toddler soda? Why you got all these toys and shit in your house and no books in your house that you read to your kids or your kids can read to you? Why does your child have all the game systems and don't know basic math and can't spell their name? Why you got a 2023... Mercedes or Range Rover and you can't make rent for the last seven months. Why you got multiple vehicles that you can't pay in full? Like I have all these questions about why people creating the struggle that they complaining about. Why y'all so predictable? Why is it so hard to be okay with wanting something fucking different? Why y'all got two happy parents, two at peace parents in a marriage and finding issues? I got one parent left. And she ain't the healthiest. Okay? Why y'all got a family home complaining about what you don't have? I don't have no family home. My family is not family. My family is very disengaged. There's people I'm related to that live here in the United States that I haven't talked to in years. I haven't seen in years. They don't call, I don't call. If I happen to go to the state, I still probably won't see them. Because my grandma is not alive on my mom's side and my grandfather is not alive on my mom's side. I don't know and I never knew my dad's um, parents, never met them in person or anything. So now everybody's like on their little island of life. There's no togetherness with the people I'm related to. Not like that. The only time they get together is when somebody dies or is gossip. 
And I don't fucking gossip and I ain't going to no more funerals. So (laughs) I guess I'm out of that. But I don't know. I just feel like there's a better way to live. There's a healthier way to be. And we ain't got to be malicious. We don't have to take advantage of people. We don't have to use people's time all the fucking time. And it is okay for you to be by yourself. And it is okay for you to get to the realization that you just like, damn. There's no relationship that I see out here as, hmm. That looks like it'll work for me. It's okay. It's okay. Be okay with yourself. Be a good person to people who deserve it. And people who don't deserve it. Try your best to move the fuck from around them. And if they keep invading your face, knock the ass off. (laughs) Oh my God. Like I am, I am wholeheartedly a part of protect your neck. Protect your neck. Protect your peace. And do your best. Don't tell me you're doing your best if you're not doing your best. And stop fucking apologizing. I hate apologies. Just be better. And and it's not just y'all. I don't tell y'all that I hate apologies. I tell my kids I hate apologies. Don't apologize to me. Just do what you're supposed to do the first time. I'm the same way with adults. I'm the same way with people I have relationships with. Stop fucking apologizing to me. And I tell you straight up, if you did something that I find disrespectful, if I'm mad at you, if I don't want to talk to you, I'm going to tell you straight up. Ain't going to be no arguments. Ain't going to be no thesis texts. I don't want to talk to you. You piss me off. Suck a dick. You know what I'm saying? And if I talk to you again, I talk to you again. If I don't, I don't. It's cool. I don't hate you. I just, I don't, I don't want to give you no more energy. A new year, time for new growth. Grow your education and skills with Herzing University. Our online behavioral health programs fit your schedule and time. From an eight-month diploma program in health and human services to a 36-month bachelor's in psychology. Grow your behavioral health career with us wherever you are in your education. Your future starts now at Herzing University. Visit us online at herzing.edu or text HEALTH to 85109. Online at herzing.edu or text HEALTH to 85109. Okay, so y'all find some simple, nice things to enjoy about your time. Learn about yourself. Learn about your likes and dislikes. Um, I'm going to continue tweeting my bullshit when I want to tweet my bullshit. I'm going to continue telling my truth, okay, because that's what I do. And um, I don't know what this episode was. But I just wanted to get that out. I just wanted to get that out. Winter is wintering. I know it's fall right now, but it is fucking cold. Okay, I got thick socks on on my house with my heat on under my blanket throw on the couch. Waiting to clock in and do this white man's work. Um, and it's Friday. The girls are in school. I got options for breakfast. Thank you, Lord, for my options that I have for breakfast. I don't know what I'm going to choose, Lord, but I'm grateful for all of it. Thank you for me being able. Thank you for me being able to tell you thank you. Thank you for my quiet house. Thank you for not bringing me any relationship problems where I feel like I got to argue at this hour. Thank you for keeping my children's fathers out my face. (laughs) Thank you for giving me the understanding that, no, your life's going to be better when you don't settle. Thank you for allowing me to realize that just because a motherfucker loves me, how they love me doesn't mean I have to connect with that shit and accept that shit. 
And ain't nothing wrong with somebody loving you the best way they can. But sometimes the best way that somebody can love you is not good enough. And you got to be honest with yourself and be like, it's not good enough. I am not a fan of making somebody truly believe that the way they do something for me is adequate enough to keep me. Some men and women are comfortable playing with people's time. I am not because I know I kill for mine. Period. Take that how you want to take it. I will kill for my time. I am not the one you play with. Don't come over here playing with me. Don't don't play with me. Okay, I'm not the one. Okay? I was not swaddled tightly. Take that how you want to take that. All right? But anyway, have a great day. Have a great night. Use prophylactics. Kids is not cheap. Um, remember being in love is a waste of time because as soon as you get in it, <laughs> you on a fast timer of getting out of it. And that's not to dim down your light of being in love, but I'm just saying being in love is like, um, that first high crackheads get. You'll never get that high ever again. It's a it's a race that you will not get to. It's not you're not gonna be in love every day. You go and wake up one day and be like, damn, I don't like you. Okay. So enjoy people. And when you're not enjoying someone, be honest with them and be like, I'm not enjoying this. And me not enjoying this is going to make you uncomfortable. Me not enjoying this is not going to make you happy. So you always have an option to not have to deal with how I'm treating you or how I'm not treating you. Always give people the option to move them around. Because if you think loving somebody is keeping somebody hostage, you are fucking wrong my name is shan at shan be potting on everything don't get lost in the motherfucking sauce i ain't tell you nan lie on this hoe bye